Hey everyone, welcome to the first beginner variation of the pull-up. So what we're going to look at today is using these bands. So they're going to become very, very handy for us to do the full range of motion pull-up. However, we want to be able to do that full range of motion pull-up. So from the absolute dead hang top position, pulling down all the way to there, the bands are going to allow us to do that. So the way we're going to do it, I'm going to take the uh, thinnest red band first, okay? I'm going to bring that into the, the middle. The way we're going to do that is by putting the band up onto the bar, and I'm going to make it slightly shorter by putting two hoops over it, okay? And then I'm going to grab a stick or a bar like this, and I'm going to thread it through the bottom. Okay, actually we can wrap that around twice like that. So, the point now is going to be that we want to replicate that pulling action without having to pull our entire body weight up onto a bar. So to do this, what I'm going to do is kneel down onto the floor, okay? I'm going to put this bar above my head, all right? So I'm in the total dead hang position, and then from here I'm going to pull, pull, down to that position, so where I am at the maximum pull position here, and then come back up, come back down, and up. So there is our first scalable version for doing a pull-up. Now if you want to make it harder, you just make the band shorter. So we thread it through again, put that through, come down, and again. Now it gets a little bit tougher. Okay, so once you get to the end of that, actually you can play with the thicknesses of the band too. So I'm just going to place that down and unthread that. Okay, so now actually let's look at using the blue band over here. And let's put another hoop into it. Now you can see that this becomes very, very scalable. It means that actually I can give this exercise with these bands to a lot of different people of a lot of different strength abilities and actually it starts to get a little bit more tricky, okay? Down and up. And you can imagine with the thicker bands and shorter, actually this can become quite tough. So. That's going to be our first variation. Um, very highly scalable and very easy to give to anyone. So you could give this to an old age pensioner, you could give this to a child, and all of them would be able to do a variation of this exercise. And it means that they can do the full range of motion of the pull-up from the top all the way down to the bottom position of the pull, which is there, okay? The great thing of this method also is the fact that the bands actually get harder the more you pull, okay? So as you're pulling it, it gets tighter, which means it gets harder to pull, which replicates actually pulling on the bar uh, quite a lot. So when you're on the bar and you're doing the pull-up, actually it's the top part of the, the pull. So from here, it's this top part which is the hardest part for most people. And the bands, when you're pulling on this, uh, this bar and the band, actually is this bottom part, which replicates the top part of the pull, which is the hardest. Which, so it's actually a really, really good way of kind of replicating this pull up. This method is very scalable. We can give it to a lot of different people. It means that we can get started with that pulling action. Um, it also means that we're in a good position we can do everything that you would be able to do. However, there are some negatives to this. Um, one, of, one of which is you'll notice that I'm kneeling on the floor, okay? So unless you have a very, very high bar that you can put this on so you actually start standing and you can do this exercise, actually kneeling on the floor, it's not, it's not terrible, but the problem is that it doesn't actually get you to engage your obliques very much and it puts your back into a, um, a different position. Okay, so generally the, the pelvis is put into the, this position 
rather than this position. And you want to kind of have this here, and it's very hard to be in this position on your knees, okay? So something to think about, but we can kind of work to that on one of the later versions of the beginner pulls, okay? Um, one of the other negatives is the fact that you need more equipment. You, you need these bands to kind of be able to do this variation, um, which, yeah, you know, not everybody's gonna have access to. Um, so again, probably a, a bit of a negative there. Finally, actually, the elasticity of the bands. Um, it's quite hard to determine kind of how much they're helping you um, and you kind of put a figure on like what the, the help is. So again, it's quite hard to tell with these. Um, and it doesn't kind of replicate the actual pull itself exactly because obviously when you're pulling the, the intensity is you know the same all the way but with the band it's actually fairly easy at the very top and it's easy 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 and then towards the bottom position as you're here is when it actually gets harder um, so again you know the the, the bands uh, don't replicate this proper pull up exactly with all that said actually this is one of the best ways to copy the pull up um, for a beginner okay if you have any questions throw them into the comments below uh, and I think we'll kind of finish there and we'll move on to the second beginner variation and look at another way that uh, we can scale these uh, variations all right